thanks for joining me as we try to paint a picture of the DPP-4 inhibitors, or in other words, the glyptins. Citagliptin and vildagliptin and other drugs that end in the affix glyptin are the DPP-4 inhibitors. Citagliptin and vildagliptin are oral hypoglycemic drugs, or in other words, oral anti-diabetic agents. And they're useful for the treatment of type 2 diabetics, but not useful in type 1 diabetics. Just as an overview, what you should think of the glyptins actually doing is that they increase the longevity of the incretins. So now we have to review what the incretins are. Let's go back to our physiology and let's remember how we kind of balanced the blood glucose levels. We had glucagon that is secreted to increase the blood levels of glucose and then insulin is secreted to decrease the blood glucose levels. And sometimes that's all we remember about those hormones that are involved in blood glucose regulation. But there's other hormones as well. There's the cortisol, which can increase the blood glucose levels. There is the adrenaline or epinephrine that's going to increase the blood glucose levels. And then there's other hormones as well. And then there's the incretins that actually decrease the blood glucose levels. The way in which these hormones actually decrease the blood glucose levels is that they go over to the pancreas and they signal the pancreas to increase the secretion of insulin and to decrease the secretion of glucagon. They do other actions as well. So for instance, they kind of make you more satisfied after eating and they also kind of decrease the gastric emptying as well. And what I said was to just think of the DPP-4 inhibitors as being drugs that could increase the longevity of the incretins. So therefore, the DPP-4 uh, inhibitors actually do all of what we just said about the incretins. So let's get a little bit more technical for those who like technical. Uh, DPP-4 inhibitors are uh, inhibitors of the enzyme that breaks down the incretins. So it's kind of a double negative. We're inhibiting the actions of something that inhibits the incretins. While the glyptins are fairly effective in decreasing the blood levels of glucose, they do come along with some adverse effects, and some of them are fairly serious. So for instance, there's a warning uh, as of uh, 2015 that the glyptins can come along with severe joint pain. Another adverse effect is that they actually statistically significantly, not very much, but statistic, still statistically significantly, uh, increase the risk of cardiovascular events. And then the other kind of major problem with the glyptins, the adverse effect, is that they can come along with hypersensitivity reactions. And some of those hypersensitivity reactions are, are very, very severe. For instance, even anaphylaxis. So um, the glyptins are only a second line therapy behind the metformin. Metformin is a first-line therapy, and if that proves unsuccessful, then it will be the glyptins.